Hey guys, Jay for Auto Performance here. Uh, sorry about the noise. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys. I know most of you have seen CNC milling machines before, and yeah, big deal. You know, everybody's seen them at this point. And maybe not all that interesting to you, but my point in this is I wanted to just show you that uh, this is one of our C4 trans brake valve bodies being made. Uh, this is made in house. Just wanted to let you know, it's, you know, we don't make these in China, like a lot of your power glide parts and got everything nowadays. So, uh, you see these billet parts and things from us, you either have some or looking at some. I try to make these here in house. And, uh, so if you're still kind of one of these old school pro America guys like I am and likes to keep manufacturing here, I thought maybe you'd find this interesting. Uh, so this is basically just a machine in the second side of this thing. Uh, a lot of little passages to cut and things. Uh, basically, you know, this is it with all the passages cut. And uh, it takes some machining time. It's a process, but it's worth it. The cores are getting hard to get. That's become a big problem. And... All we can do now is make them new. There still is a lot of people that want to run a C4, and it's still got its place in the universe, and uh, needs a good valve body, needs a good trans brake valve body if you're going to race. So just letting you know that we're still supporting this, and we're going to continue to uh, plan to release my forward pattern trans brake in 2024. I know I've been promising this for a long time, but just been just been very busy I do the design work I do the machine work I program the machine set the machines run the machines uh, so I'm I'm pretty busy uh, we don't really have help these days since our world kind of turned upside down so I'm kind of here doing everything and so it takes me a little while to get to these kind of new projects and things you spend most of your time getting out existing jobs and stuff like that to keep the lights on but uh, this is the fun stuff is when I get an opportunity to make a new product and get to start machining them and I was an old manual machinist from back in the day and uh, this stuff is still fascinating to me and uh, it's a pretty good privilege to be able to do this in house like this and I can control the quality and the quantity and I can make changes easily. I'm not committed to making, you know, 5,000 of these. And, oh, geez, they're, they're kind of wrong, but, damn, we got to sell them anyways because it costs us $100,000. I can make 10, and if I don't like them, throw them away and make 10 more. You know, it's a good way to control the quality and make updates often to them if needed. And uh, So, anyways, just a quick one here. Just wanted to show you that, and uh, I'll do, give you some more info when I can.